Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So in this vlog, you guys are going to be spending the week with me, doing a little bit of travel. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are in for the ride. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you are not yet subscribed, and don't forget to leave your girl a comment in the comment section, all right? Anything that you guys need in terms of links will be in the description box, so make sure you guys open that up. Hey y'all, so happy Monday. Today is Monday and it is raining outside. So I guess this is why they say like Seattle is like gloomy and rainy. Um, the weather said it's supposed to be cloudy, but then I was working downstairs and all of a sudden it started raining. Anyway, so you guys saw me, um, you guys saw me this morning working and then um, we had breakfast and then after breakfast I was downstairs in kind of the business center area working. So I'm working east coast hours out on the west coast so I woke up when it was 4 a.m. of Seattle time of Pacific time 4 a.m. and currently it's 10 I think it's about 10 a.m. right now which is um what is it 10 it's it's one o'clock over on the east coast so it's been interesting adjusting my time it's really not that bad because i um i my body today naturally woke up when i would have woken up back home anyway and i'm since i'm working east coast hours i want to pretend like i'm still on the east coast but the good thing is that working east coast hours is i get off work early here so when it's six o'clock at home It'll be 3 o'clock here, so I still have the rest of my afternoon. I'm gonna go to Ulta Beauty because I need to get um, my Tula face products. I haven't been able to get that. Um, and there's Ulta down the street. So yeah. Anyway, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Let me show you guys my outfit real quick. This week, I am challenging myself to dress up every single day. Um, especially since I'm in a different environment, I'm in a hotel and the hotel has like really nice work areas. So I'm going to be dressing up as if I am actually going into work just because this entire week between the trainings and client calls, I'm going to be on camera a lot and it just helps me with productivity. So let me show you guys my outfit and then I need to get back to work and I'll talk to you guys later. And as you guys see, no makeup. Like, that's the reason I wanted to cut my hair because at least with my hair like this, I don't really need to do too much. But no makeup on. I think I am going to put a little bit of foundation on later um, when me and my husband go out for the evening. But other than that, it is a makeup free day, but still. So wanted to show you guys that you don't need to put makeup and do a full glam and all of that to look dressed up or to look decent for your work day, even working from home. Hey you guys, so we are headed out to dinner and here is my outfit of the evening. Um, the cardigan is from H&M. I showed it to you guys in a haul a couple of videos ago and then it's a little oversized so I just put on my belt to cinch it a bit. Sorry y'all, it is focusing. It's not focusing on my face. There we go. So, yeah, it doesn't match my outfit. So yeah, the cardigan was a little oversized, so I just have my belt on to cinch it in, make it a little bit more feminine, I guess. Um, and then I'm using my Faithful uh, Shein bag. You guys have seen this bag so many times, and I have never wear it with the strap, but I have it with the strap today, just so that it could be like this. 
my my Zara trousers and then you guys know my boohoo boots that I love I've been wearing these boots all fall and winter and we're not gonna stop yet so yeah and then my fragrance of the day is the um, YSL Libra mixed with the Burberry with my Burberry so give it a little cute scent so here is the look Across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kinda strange Don't even know your name hey you guys happy tuesday so um last night dinner was really well i had reservations at um another restaurant called limoncello but then we as we parked we found a jamaican spot like right on the corner where we parked so my husband wanted us to go there instead so that's what we did we had jamaican food last night and it was just kind of um drove a little bit to get to see the city a little bit more you guys i forgot to wrap my hair last night so my hair is looking like this so i need to like i need to figure out how to get it cute and flat again but i've been in trainings this whole morning pretty much between trainings and some client work so yeah that is what's been going on let me show you guys my outfit and then I will check in with you guys later. We're going to Bellevue tonight when my husband gets back from work because I need to go to Best Buy and get a monitor. My husband forgot to bring the portable monitor, so I need a second screen to work. All right, you guys, so I am at Ulta to get some products for my skin. I need to re-up on the Tula products. I have no clue what's been going on with my skin lately. Um, I have been like breaking out really bad. I don't know if it's like hormonal. So for the moment, I am not putting makeup on. Um, but usually when I put makeup on, I um, make sure I wash my face and everything. So I don't know what's going on. But like, if you guys see how bad, like, my skin is and it's come all the way down here on my neck I, I used to be super insecure about having acne when I was a teenager but you know what now it's it's life you know you just move on but I have no clue it's been happening for the past month um, I think yeah it's going on a month now that my skin clears up and then does this again and it keeps coming like around here so I am going to look for a dermatologist but I noticed that this started happening when I stopped using the Tula products <laughs> Hey you guys, so we are headed out to dinner. I'm going to insert my outfit of the day for you guys and I will probably see you guys tomorrow. Um, babe, are you done or not yet? I lied. Let me show you guys what I picked up while I was out and then we will go. So here is my outfit. This sweater is Shein, my Zara pants. I just have my belt on and the bag that I'm bringing is this one. Um, just because it can carry a little bit more stuff. And then, these are the shoes. I found this Babyless Pro, um, 
porcelain ceramic curling iron and a uh, flat iron I think it's this is one that my hairstylist uses and they cost a couple hundred dollars especially like the really good ones the blue one so I saw the blue mini one at Ross but I didn't get that I got this one instead so I'm looking forward to trying it when it's time for me to fix my hair a little bit all I've been doing is just wrapping my hair up see you guys I don't take long to get ready he does but anyway, so from, from Ulta Beauty, I stocked up again on the Cult Classic uh, Cleansing Purifier. I should have gotten two, but these things are not cheap. I think this was like $32, and me and my husband usually share it. So the this thing right here. What did we share? The next thing that I picked up is the So Poreless Deep Exfoliating Black Head Scrub. I really love this stuff and it's also from Tula. And then I also picked up the Clear It Up Acne Clearing and Toning Tone Correcting Gel. Just because I showed you guys I've been um, breaking out, especially around here. So I got some acne toning gel to hopefully help me with these breakouts and with my dark spots. I picked up the Tarte, um, the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I picked this up, um, I don't know why I didn't go and get the Tarte Tape Shape. I'm actually gonna go back to get the Tape Shape tomorrow, hopefully, and the new NARS foundation that came out. I had showed you guys the mini version when we went to Mexico, and it's waterproof, it stays on the whole time, so I upped on this. But then I need to go back and get the Tarte Tape Shape. And then I got a NARS, the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer and this is um, in the color Walnut so um, when I'm back to putting makeup on or if I want to do a little concealer I have this yo sales tax here is not cheap oh wait yeah sales tax here in Seattle or in Washington State I guess is 10% 10% sales tax that's crazy in New York, it's, how much is it, babe? 8.5, right? Yeah. Yeah, in New York, it's 8.5%. And then when we lived in Houston, it was 6, it was like around 5% or 6.5%. I will probably, I don't know if I'm going to show you guys the date. I'll probably take some footage on my iPhone and show you guys. And yeah, because it's so hard. I'm vlogging for this channel and for my Portuguese channel, y'all. I'm doing overtime. So give your girl a thumbs up. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Wednesday and um, I am just pretty much finishing up getting ready for the remainder of the day and again I'm with working the West Coast hours I think it's like 8 o'clock over here right now which is 11 back on the East Coast and so I have a training this afternoon or I guess I have a training for the next few hours I've been challenging myself to dress up and look decent every day this week and so far so good so I'm gonna touch up my hair right now where's my comb it's puffing out a little bit but wrapping it has been helping
so it's a little loud out here but I just came from the bakery and I grabbed myself a Belgian mocha to start off my day I had to drop my husband off at work today because I need to go get a COVID test um, at 2.15 and he'll still be at work and then I will go pick him up and then he's gonna go get his COVID test because we're going somewhere special, yay! Um, I want you guys to guess in the comments So it's very gloomy today here in Seattle. Um, it's like, it's hazy outside and it's a little wet, but it's not like, it wasn't raining or anything. Like, as I told you guys, I got a coffee. Uh, it's a Belgian mocha. The place is called Farine Cafe and it is a French bakery and cafe and like, it was so cool because you see like there's a window and you see the chefs uh, like you see like the chefs and the bakers actually working and making the stuff fresh so that's really nice um, y'all know as much as I love Starbucks but I really like um, like bakeries and this one like you could see what they did so I picked up a baguette and I thought they had Nutella there um, but they didn't but this is a fresh baguette and I picked up a pain au chocolat. So if you don't know what pain au chocolat is, it's pretty much just a um, a chocolate croissant. So here it is. And then I have my baguette here. Look how beautiful this is. Like it's, it's really pretty. Um, it reminds me of friends. I'm hoping that we can go to France this year. It's it's um it's on our list of trips for 2022. Uh we want to do we want to be able to go to some European countries and France is on the top of the list and then also try to do some African um some countries on the African continent. So yeah. Yesterday, I didn't really talk to you guys or show you guys what we ended up doing. So, because it was a crazy work day, I'm, um, I have a deadline coming up. And um, so, I have a deadline for a project that I've been working on. And the client, it's been interesting. You guys know, for y'all who work with in the client-facing environment, you know, you just sometimes they don't provide you what you need on time. A lot of meetings going through things so um i have a deadline so yesterday i worked until until 8 p.m east coast time which was 5 p.m here so it was a longer work day and then we just went to grab dinner we went to bj uh bj's brewery um and like it's like a chain restaurant we used to go there when we lived in lubbock in our college days and Quite frankly, I was not impressed <laughs> at the dinner last night. Um, and they didn't have a lot of things as well, which was a little bit annoying. But And then after that, we went to the Apple store because my laptop charger stopped working a few days ago. And um, therefore, like I have videos that I still need to edit so that I can get the Sunday vlogs out to you guys. And I wanted to do the bonus video, but that didn't ended up that didn't end up working out yesterday and with the weather today i'm hoping that i can find a quiet spot in the hotel that i can film that video for you guys because i like the hotel aesthetics and it's just going to be a really nice video i do think that this vlog is going to be a little bit longer than i intended i don't know it might end up being like a 30 minute vlog do you guys like longer vlogs or shorter vlogs i feel like I like longer vlogs, but a lot of audience retention is more like shorter vlogs. So I don't know if I'm going to split this vlog up or not. Do not use the elevators. Use stairwells where necessary. All handicapped occupants shall use the building evacuation plan. Uh, uh, uh. 
Hey you guys, happy Thursday. So, um, I mean, not Thursday, today's Friday, oh my gosh. Happy Friday, so we have just been working and last night or yesterday, I didn't really take you guys around much because I just worked because I was in training half the weekend and getting through client deadline and then had to go get my COVID test. And then we went to have dinner at my aunt's house. We just came back and crashed. Um, so yeah, and then today I am going to be meeting one of you guys. Ah, it's so cool that like I get to connect with you guys on here and then in person as well. So. Thank you. 